Greetings, listeners and viewers. Your host for the night, Zach, here, introducing you to The Call 1973, a Call of Cthulhu podcast by Twisted Gears Studios. This was recorded over a year ago, so many of the learnings over the past year of recording The Call you may notice are not present. You won't see any inclusion of luck or penalty dice. However, Derek will be showing off a set of dice made by our friends over at Divine Soul Dice. Our copy has overgone some changes as well. You will now find that there are three tiers. Please check the video link below for an in-depth overview of what that all looks like. For each month that you are in the Creative Collaborator tier and up, your name will go into a draw. At the end of the arc, I will draw the winner at uh, the end of the final episode, and we'll get your info from you so we can send you the dice that Derek used to mess with us in this session. So thank you, Divine Soul Dice, for the custom 1973-inspired resin dice set. Also, if you want to support the channel in other ways, we have a merch shop. So grab some shirts, hats, mugs. We'll be changing the shop up every once in a while, so stay tuned for when changes happen. But for now... Last we left our investigators, they attempted to secure the perimeter for the night from any animals, spores, or infected that may be around. If they make it through the night, the hospital lies waiting. Yep, uh, so we're going to... Yeah, so the plane is also left to go. You haven't started um, the plane, of course, mm -hmm. because of you know, yeah. the front of it. Stuff like that, like it's you know, the door isn't open, it's gonna create a lot of noise and everything along those lines. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so I'm assuming you're going to be setting up watches, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's going to be three watches, I'm assuming, same as before. Nope, there will be two. There's this adamant that I not be on with all due respect, sir. You need the rest right now. If we were at, if we had a real hospital facility, I wouldn't even recommend that you work tomorrow. But I know we need you, and we and you're going to, you're going to be going at full tilt. So if, if 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 that's going to be happening, you need to sleep tonight. Uh, and and uh, I know we were briefly talking about it earlier, but just to make sure that we're all on the same page, there will be no splitting up once we get into the hospital. The, the it doesn't matter how fast we get it done, we just have to go in, do it, and then be able to leave. So either we're going to run into more people that were in fact affected the way that we saw that man outside, or the people that did it. If we're going to be running into anybody, I suspect it would be either running to nobody or running into one of those two categories of people. So, yeah. Uh, everyone sticking together, probably going to be the best play. Okay. Um, how much sleep do we actually need, like, when it comes to, like, rest in game and stuff like that? Like, is, do we need eight hours? Do we need six to eight? Do we need, like... Um, you're going to do three shifts. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's nine hours total. So there's three three-hour shifts. Okay. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, so if somebody's going to do a double shift, mm -hmm. that means they're only getting three hours sleep. Yeah. Okay. Then it'll be a constitution check to see if you are exhausted. Honestly. That can be overcome uh, with stimulants. Doc, I, I, I know I was, I was on uh, Agent Halbrecht's side yesterday about you taking an, a watch shift, but clearly you showed you were not a non-combatant. If, if, if it's all right with everyone else, I'd be more comfortable with you taking a watch shift than with Sarge taking two. I'm f I'm fine with that. I'm fine with taking a watch shift, for sure. Okay, so you can still do three shifts. We got Mick. We've got uh, Ginny. We've got Ginny, and we've got Trish. So, who's first shift? I'll take the middle shift because it's the one that breaks up. Okay, so you're in the middle sleep. shift. Who's yeah. taking first shift? Broken sleep. I'll take first. First shift, middle shift, last shift. Okay, fair enough. Um, and then you're going to be resting. I'm assuming, um, are you going to give him any painkillers from your yeah. back to help him uh, rest? Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> On the first shift. Oh, God. Okay. That's a random roll. On the first shift, <laughs> while you're uh, in the Quonset, mm -hmm. um, and... Is there anything you wanted to talk about before you all go to sleep anyway? No. 
I'm Nothing more than separate. just what we uh, already discussed, I think. Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so we go to the first um, shift. Um, fairly early. Um, er I'm still going to say everyone else is asleep. Okay. Right? Everyone else is fairly exhausted. It's been a long day. You want to slow down the cliff. You know, mm -hmm. the usual. Mm -hmm. uh, been off. I also have injuries I'm recovering from. Yeah, I think everyone is slightly hurt except Jim. <laughs> yeah. Um, you are... Uh, <laughs> the, the, the trust is there. For no reason. For no reason. <laughs> yeah, no reason. Um, None whatsoever. You start hearing noises off in the distance. Um, sounds like uh, squealing, similar yeah. to what you heard huh? before. Okay. And weird bleating in different areas. Okay. So you hear multiple squeals and bleats. That, and it's weird now that you know what's making them. Yeah. That there must be more people in this condition. Or who knows, but this is the type of and then weird bleats as well. <laughs> how far how, can I gauge how? Like, they're not right up against the. Oh, Damn it. Okay. <laughs> what do you think you were going to roll for? It? 30 out of 22. But a tick in alertness. Damn. Yeah, um, there are multiple. You're just not sure how many. Okay. None see none of the noises seem <laughs> near the Quonset. Okay. But you notice them in different areas off in the distance. Right. Um, but I can't discern how many though. Just I know that there's a number out there. You you no, not with a failed uh, you know uh, like sort of like a perception check. Okay. Um, of being able to uh, figure it out. Yeah. All right. I'm not gonna say anything until uh, there's. I think that there's gonna be immediate. Mm -hmm. Threat. Okay, so what happens then is your shift goes and you go to wake up Trish. Uh, I'm just going to say to you, uh, I've been hearing those squealing sounds we had heard earlier. And I can tell you for sure a similar sound came out of that body that I shot. They, I don't know how close they are, but it didn't seem that they were like up against the closet. So, just so you're aware. And then I'm going to go to sleep. And with that, I do not sleep <clears> for <throat> the rest of the night. <laughs> I'll have trouble sleeping. <laughs> okay, no, fair enough. Um, so, you're up for your watch. Mm -hmm. And I mean, after the first few hours, though, there is the sounds die away and there is no more sound. So, when you're at your watch, you don't hear anything. Die away. Die away. You don't really hear anything. Uh, okay. Out of the ordinary, and your watch goes by. You make that pick. And then okay. you go to sleep. I'll attempt to. <laughs> you're a Marine. You yes. can sleep. You can All sleep. I know is just. When in doubt, sleep. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's... I'll put the rock might for not my get pillow it there. under my head and. <laughs> Okay, Mick, your uh, uh, watch also goes uneventful. And everyone wakes up uh, fairly well rested. Everyone, upon waking up the next day, considering most of the damage is bruised damage, you heal one wound. Sweet. So the wound you have left, I'm going to say, is still just that slight wound from the bite. But it's been stitched up well. It doesn't, uh, um, because of the roll with everything else, so it's done correctly, it doesn't look like it's any red. Like It's red, but it's not like... It doesn't seem like an yeah. infection I'm is setting I'm going to check it anyway. Yes. Like, change the bandage, make sure everything's shaping up. Right. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. Let me keep track of this right here. Down to that. Perfect. Thank you. You're Very welcome. Much. There's water inside my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was I opened so it up sad. and I was like... <laughs> so sad. All right. <clears throat> now, something to remember is when you are in an exhausted state, uh -huh. if, I mean, I'm not saying that's what's happening because everyone got at least mm -hmm. six hours sleep, which is completely good. Um, but when you, if it ever comes to the point you are exhausted, you can take stimulants mm -hmm. to put off 
the exhaustion, <laughs> and you can just keep doing yeah. that until something bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta know when to stop. That's all. Okay. You can say that about most things. <laughs> listen, <laughs> that until something bad listen, happens. Listen. Yeah, I'll we keep saying that about buying dead. dice. That's not really sleep. That's death. Yeah, that's what. I mean. That's what I was saying. I'll sleep enough when I'm dead. Well, no, you're dead. <laughs> sleep is like death without the commitment. You stole that from, from Stephen Colbert or something. Someone. You didn't. I didn't steal. steal it from Stephen Colbert, but I but I, I don't approve of you just throwing me into the bus that I stole it from someone. Yes, I did steal it. Oh, I steal almost everything I say. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Everything I say is from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, really, everything that we say is from the people who originally created language in the alphabet. So. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna here. <laughs> this rabbit hole is cosmic. Uh, right. Let's stop this cosmic philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> we're going crazy. We've been here for too long. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen next? Straight faced all the way. I was told you all were professionals. What the fuck is happening? Who told you that? I told you that. He didn't even say a word. He didn't even say a word. Okay, we're 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 we're, 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 we're getting through. We're fine. Yes, yes, we are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Everything's fine. fine. Yes, yes, yes. I am more focused now because I'm finished. I found what I was looking for earlier. Fuck. Um, and I don't need it now. <laughs> Great. Um, but the night goes pretty much uneventful except for the weird bleating and meeping bleats <laughs> that you heard. Beep, borp. Okay, and around. Um, and yeah, you seem to be all good to go. All right. Time to do what we came here for. All right. Which door do we want to go into? I'm assuming yeah. there's multiple ways to access this building. What was the, uh, you know, the wing that was the one you were un, like not allowed in? I highlight. I, uh, um, I, so you're still in the Quonset. Yeah, I let him know uh, the the location of what I think is one of the more classified wings. Now we were talking well, during the night. We mentioned very briefly at the end of the last episode. Very uh, while repairs were going on with the Quonset, the plane we were talking layout of the, of the hospital. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, would you said there was a portion of the facility that was damaged, right? Yes, yeah. is how does that coincide with the wing she wasn't pr privy to? Well, um, she wouldn't be able to tell, or not Carol would be able to tell for sure until you go inside and gotcha. see the effect. Yeah, um, it's affected. You're just not sure how it's affected, but you, uh, Carolyn, you generally know the areas you weren't allowed into. So when you go into the hospital, you should be able to pretty clearly uh, locate that area. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, okay, so you're all in the Quonset. To the front door, I guess. Let's try it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sergeant, you'd be so. How are you leaving the closet? Through the bomb. Through the what? <laughs> the bomb. <laughs> We're go through the trip bomb. <laughs> I know you're not, but I mean, are you opening up the gate or cutting another hole? That's basically what yeah, I'm trying to do. Yeah, can it be closed from the outside? No. Uh, We're gonna have to. We can cut a smaller tent flap slit and just crawl out. It the the. The trip line is just a wire on the floor, right? It is connected. Step over it. Oh no! As soon as you open the door, oh. it'll go out. It's now, if wire. somebody had demolitions, they could try to disarm it. Nope. They do not have demolitions. <laughs> can the roll be opened a little bit? Can the what? The the the, the garage roll. Can oh yeah, you can open it up like just a little bit you and do that. yeah, and then yep. you can like roll underneath it. It'll then it'll just stay open a, yep. like a little bit. That's fine. If you do that, or we cut a hole, okay, if we do that, either or, or something could get the in. Same. We'll yeah, just, we'll at least you don't have to do repair to the tent when you come back if there's a hole in it. The thing about the, the front door, though, being open, at least multiple of us can roll underneath if we need to get away, yeah. as opposed to trying to shove through mm -hmm. one little hole in the wall. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that exactly. Makes sense. So, so, okay, so you, you, have a tent you, you rise it up a couple of feet, <laughs> yep. and then you all roll under the door. Yep. 
I, okay. I push out my weapons first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you, get you, caught. You, you, you push out your weapons first. It was player one, player two, player three, gun one, gun two, gun three, player four. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you all roll out. Um, it is another dry, hot day. Um, and, but there's still that stillness here. There's, like I said, there's not much air movement around this hospital. As you're looking at the hospital now from the closet, it's a little bit of distance away, but not a super long distance. Um, and you, uh, Carolyn, points out the main entrance, or mm-hmm. well, the entrance she was used to entering. Yeah. And you all head over there. Yeah. Okay. Anything to note about uh, it? I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna double check, make sure it's also not booby trapped. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How many of the nurse, nurse well? <laughs> doing the fucking booby trap inspections? We did Ooh, a, none of us got searching out for things. Was important. Okay, so put a tick in search. To the best of your oh. knowledge, there are no booby traps. As far as I know. Are, to the best of your knowledge, there are no booby traps. Are the front doors? It's a double doors. Yeah, but there's no glass. No. It's, it's in a military. No, it's not even boarded up. There's just two metal doors. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You take one door, I take the other door? <laughs> oh, I was going to yes, open it. No, 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 Well, it opens out if I pull no. it, and then yeah, she's no. standing there with the gun watching not. for if any. Okay. That's fine. He can do that part. Okay. I back up. Okay, so everyone backs up, and who's going to open the doors? Do you want to open an all shoot? Oh, yes, that works. Okay. <laughs> so you open up one of the doors. Yes. Right? And I'm like... Near the machine gun. And as you look in, you can see that there is lights in here, but they're flickering. Oh. There's a flickering lights. Hmm. Okay, a power. Well, well, that's interesting. I wouldn't expect the power to be on here. Me neither. Mm-hmm. Or anything to be working. Mm-hmm. But it is like this flickering lights... And it seems to be a hallway that goes down with hallways branching off of it as well from this area. And there seems to be a level of, or a layer of dirt and stuff on the ground. Mm-hmm. And it seems like it's... Like your typical haunted hospital. Yes. Yes. And there's like a stretcher <laughs> yeah. on the side with a pile of like red, <laughs> red stains along the stretcher and stuff like that. So, you know, and it's... Yeah, the light. still. In fine. the dirt on the ground, is there visible footprints? Are you moving in to inspect it? I'm moving in first. Okay, yeah. so Trish moves on in. I'll, I'll probably. I, I'm just going to say you all. Yeah, we all follow, but I'm taking the, door, the lead. Yeah. The door was not booby trapped. Okay? I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't have been funny. Yeah, you know. <laughs> or randomly, which door you opened? Yeah. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> Only the left door. Dick <laughs> move. That would have been. Yeah, but no, the, the this is not booby trapped. So um, you head on in, and you're in this hallway. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very still in here. It's very quiet. All you can hear is the humming of the electricity mm-hmm. and the lights flickering. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, I don't know how many people have been into abandoned areas like this before in the real world. It is creepy, mm-hmm. right? It's just creepy. But the other thing you notice is you have this, you all get this slight sense of, the smell of cinnamon. Huh. For some reason, there's a slight smell of cinnamon as soon as you walk in as well. Huh. Yeah. Should we put up our bandanas? Oh, I think that's a good idea. Anyway, we are coming into a potentially contaminated area. Mm-hmm. Masks up. Question. Okay, I'll put my mask on. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the smell of cinnamon, do I equate it to any kind of chemical, or any kind of something to do with biology or bot? Well, botany. Smell cinnamon. Chemistry. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> smell like other plants. Yeah. Do you have medicine? I do have medicine. Roll medicine. Damn it, 45 out of 40. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. But a tick, though. Yes, you get a tick. Yeah. <gasps> uh, anyone else who has medicine as well? I'm going to roll it. 85 out of 60. Put a tick in it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm on my phone here. I'm trying to actually look something up yeah. mm-hmm. while, we're, while we're playing. Um. Um, while we're moving in, 
I would like to, because I, because I don't want to look down, you know, I want to keep my eyes level and looking around and stuff because that's what I'm here to do. Um, I'm going to ask Mr. Quilty, who has proven himself to be quite the little uh, tracker expert, to uh, take a look as we're walking forward for any evidence of that someone's been here besides us. Okay, roll well, the survival check. This is just in this main yeah. hallway. Yes. Area. Forty-nine. <laughs> Out of fifty-two. Out of fifty-two. Okay. Um, so you succeed on your survival. There has been movement in here more recent than a few years. I mean, especially for the dirt to come in here, there has been movement in it. It's very hard to place how long, like, the it, how long ago it was. Mm. Um, but there was definitely movement here, especially since you see some blood splatters and stuff, like along the ground and stuff. That seems to be a lot more recent than like three years ago. Yeah. Or sorry, five years ago. Like yeah. this is fairly recent, yeah. Recent enough. I'd say within the last week. Right. That there was movement in this hallway for sure. Nurse Harrison. Do you, does he do you tell us that? Yeah. Well it's I can't say for sure, but it's somewhere within a week people have definitely been in here. I mean makes sense. It's uh Yeah. There's Harrison. I yeah. need to ask uh, for you to please do me a favor of at all times if you could stay behind uh, Sergeant Metton while we're here. Um, let's not waste more time than we need to in here. Why don't you start guiding us uh, again, staying behind Sergeant Metton the entire time. Please guide us to the wing that you were not privy to. This way. I do that. Okay, so you start going on. <clears throat> um... Fair enough, and you all start sort of going along, you know, anxiety is high, tension is high. Yeah. Uh, especially what happened the previous day out by the the ramshackle tent tarp area, mm -hmm. you know. The, the death soup. Yeah. I'm kind of just walking along, like, it's like someone, you know, guns up, if we pass uh, a room or whatever, I'm like, you know, taking quick glances in. And doors and corners. Doors and corners. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, as you're walking along, it's not like it's going to take you an exorbitant amount of time, but you come across one of the nurse's desks mm -hmm. that you had worked at. Um, and there seems to be papers all thrown all over the place. Um, these would have been regular documents. You do know when any patients with interesting or out of the normal symptoms were taken, their files were also taken. Yes. Right? Files so, always followed them. So there are files sort of spread around this uh, nurse's desk. Um, but... <laughs> Um, you also notice that, like, so basically, there's a wall with shelves where all the papers are set in some file cabinets and there's chairs. And then there's, like, a desk, but then it rises up a bit, you know, when people yeah. come up and they're talking over it to, you know, the area. And resting there seems to be something that looks to be made out of stone. And it looks to be something carved out of stone. Roughly carved or, or, or very... Um, fairly or like roughly carved, okay. yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just walk up and, and uh, kind of reach out to pick it up. Okay. So you walk on up to the... It. Yep, okay. So you walk on up to the... You walk on up to the nurse's station. You can see this weird wooden thing. Are any of you familiar with the Venus of Willendorf? It is... I am. Right? It is a... Similar to uh, what they would consider a fertility doll or something oh, along those lines. The ones with the it's, it's yeah, with it's, the oversized. It doesn't have a head. Tummy. Okay, so yeah. this, and tapered feet. but this one does have a head, mm -hmm. and it's almost okay. like a, um, almost like a bee's nest. Oh, if you will, oh, okay. um, which the Venus of Willendorf does have a head. It, like it this does. fertility dolls doesn't. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Really, some of the um, ones you've seen, but this Venus of yeah, Willendorf does have. The, the like Venus head. thing was thought to be potentially carved by women when they're pregnant. So when they're looking down, they prominently see their tummy and like their breasts and stuff, mm -hmm. but they don't really see their feet and their facial features. Mm -hmm. right. um, so yeah, if you want to look it up and take a look, that Venus of Willendorf, um, that, that's basically what it looks like. Um, and anyone at home is watching, if they want to look it up, this is basically yes, the figurine you see. Um, as you reach forward and uh, pick it up, um, does anyone have archaeology? No, I do. 
What? Nice. Nice. Roll me an archaeology check. That's kind of cool. Just as you see Mm -hmm. Carolyn pick it up. 21 out of 30. So that is a success. Yes, because uh, the Venus of Willendorf was, of course, found prior to this. You are aware of the Venus of Willendorf. Mm -hmm. I think I've said that a lot right now. It's a good word. It is a good word. But I do that. And, you know, as... You know, you're sort of, Carolyn's sort of looking at it. And uh, I'll just kind of glance over because I'm still focused on... And that that looks a lot like a... What's it called? Venus of Willendorf. This is Venus? Well, it's like a... It's like a statue, carved statue, almost like a fertility sort of thing. I've I've never seen it here before. I don't know why it would be here. Well, you would know better than me. I just know that... No, I I mean, it depends. If people have been here, potentially, I don't know, would have kept or followed anything like that. Who knows? At this point, as you're both sort of looking at it, Mm -hmm. right? You're looking at it and it's in your hand. Um, Something that you both sort of notice at the same time, even though it's carved out, same, um, you're not sure about the dimensions of the said Venus, but it is a, a fairly, yeah. fairly large. But you can almost see the individual pores in the stone. Because oh. these little holes, tiny pinprick holes. And as you're holding it, this liquid comes out of the holes and sort of pours over your hand and it's like dripping off. Ugh! And I kind of yeah. like drop, toss it away from me, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's already all over my Yeah, hands. but so as you, as, as you, you know, drop it out of your hands and it hits the floor, now you figure what it's made that it would like shatter stone, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that, but it just hits the floor and just rolls a little bit up against the side. And there's like this weird liquid. It's not water, but there's this, and there's a slight smell from it. And but it's clear? It's, well, yeah, it's, there's a clearness to it, too. Uh, I need you, who's looking at it right now, um, to uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say this would also be medicine. Um, anyone else with medicine could probably roll, but let's see if Carolyn makes the success. With it. It it's a, the block. Ugh, 90. 90. Wow. So I'm assuming your medicine is at 90. Like he's not so you're in just a little bit of shock with this this liquid on yeah. your hands. Anyone else with a, yes. a decent amount of medicine can, can yes. double check this. 59 out of 40. Oof. Okay, don't forget to put a tick in medicine, though. I have it from before. Anyone else have medicine? No? I have yeah. chemistry. <laughs> no. Okay. I just, I, I, uh, is there a, it's like a, a little bit of stickiness to it too. Is there a cloth nearby? Like, oh like yeah, just, okay, I would to, say that there is a cloth. Just grab a cloth and just try and wipe it off. Uh, I have never seen one of those things do that. That was disgusting. I have, I have no, oh gross, it's all stuck. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody else pick that up. Maybe it would be best if you didn't pick up anything for a bit. That's probably a good idea. I'm going to take a sample. <laughs> it's on the ground. Yeah. Okay, you take a sample of this liquid. <coughs> While she's doing that, I'm just going to do a quick glance at the uh, papers on the desk. I'm not going to search through them, just double checking that those are quote unquote normal patient files. Uh, yeah, that's what they appear to be. Okay. Um, is normal patient files and stuff like that. Some of them a bit weathered and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what they appear to be, is just, you know, nothing at an all repeat. You know, uh, soldiers who came in after being shot, or soldiers who came in who had to have some amputation aftercare, or stuff like that, like regular things. None of the weird illnesses, mysterious illnesses, and the mm-hmm. tortured individuals. People come in screaming in pain, um, and the, mar- you know? Yeah. Um, as you're thinking about it, though, you start thinking about the creature, or the person, that became a creature, if you will, that was in the woods. And the idea of, as you do recall, some soldiers coming in, mysterious wasting disease. Yeah. I believe I mentioned this. I believe I mentioned you this. Did? Yeah. Um, and in a lot of pain and stuff like that. And then you start thinking of the person that was out at the tent and wondering if maybe that is a natural progression of what you were saying. Yeah. Or but any, so, some, so, yeah. So I'm going to just 
I'll cut, I'll, since I think, think of that, I'm just going to kind of like sift through them a bit and see if I see any mention of a wasting disease. And But I'm not going to say anything unless I do. Yeah. Um, you don't find any... Okay. Um, I didn't think I would at this desk. You can roll a bureaucracy roll. Sure. Bureaucracy is also used. Uh, I believe... Can I see your character sheet, Nick, please? I want to make sure, because it's not a library use roll. No. Um, okay. Can I help her with this, being that that's kind of why I'm here? Because I was going to also ask to look through like patient files just to see if there's anything worthwhile there. So I'm Technically, helping... I'm also there to gather information, too. We all are. That's we, well. We all are, but yeah. yeah but it, it, I mean, from a scientific, have, I have a forty percent. Sixty. Also sixty. Oh shit! Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're all mm. working together. Therefore, you get to use the high. Do you want to roll? Well, now you, you can also be looking. Uh -uh. There's enough papers here where you could also all be looking through papers separately. But because, I mean, you're not going to relook over the ones that. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, Agent Halbrecht isn't going to be relooking over the ones that Carolyn or uh, Nurse Harrison has already done. Mm -hmm. That it would be one check with the person who has to hide. Well, yeah, it could be like and, um, one person looks at the desk, another looks at a filing cabinet, another person. And I'm not digging through this. If, if, if when when Agent Halbrecht comes up, I'm just going to say it's prob what we're looking for is probably not at this desk. I'm just double checking while while uh, while Doctor Equally there is grabbing her sample. Once she's done, we can move on. We're more likely to find what we're looking for it. Uh, in the restricted section. In the restricted section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Twenty-eight. Okay, so I would have a, yeah, so that's a successful uh, checking through these papers and successfully checking through the papers. They all seem to be regular patient files. Yeah. Um, gunshots. Can, I'm like sorry to keep doing this, but while they are looking away, if I find a moment that they, I don't, they're looking, I would like to take a picture of the Venus. I uh, will allow that because now you're aware <coughs> of you sort of noticing that Trish had seen you before doing it. Mm -hmm. I will allow you to be even more careful to be able to take the picture so there is no check. Well, mm. Trish isn't looking at it. Trish is looking outward mm. for threats coming into her, mm -hmm. their space. Mm -hmm. so. As you take the picture, though, and you're looking at the, the stone or clay figurine, mm -hmm. you do notice it's still leaking some kind. It's still leaking the liquid. Right. Slowly, but there is this this liquid is sort of pooling slightly out of the floor. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to yeah. leave where it is, I'm assuming. No, I'm not touching it. I've already <laughs> taken my samples. I'm done. <laughs> like... <clears throat> fair enough. Fair enough. So that's going to work out. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so are you all heading then towards where the restricted area yes. Yes. Yep. should be? Okay, so you're only traveling the line for another minute or two, and you're going through some doors. Some double doors, you know, because it's basically hallways leading into smaller office space or smaller rooms. Um, you, you get turned around a couple of times because of collapsed walls mm -hmm. and stuff like that from damage, but you're still managing to find your way through. Um, yeah. Uh, as you're traveling along one hallway, though, you notice um, that you start getting a smell coming up from one of these one of the hallways you turn onto and it smells like shit and viscera I don't know how else to put it yeah. is what it smells like so as you you know like cut the tent side not as bad mm -hmm. but still shit and viscera you know yeah it's right? bad no matter what mm -hmm. it's good thing we got bandanas on that's, so that's just my mask make sure it's on. Does everyone have masks on now? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. say yeah. Yeah. everyone has some. It's just we smell when I go. Uh. Yes. <laughs> yep. 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 Actually, yeah, yeah. So everyone has a some measure of facial protection on. As you come around a turn into the hallway where the smell is coming from, you can see that on the walls of this hallway, and you do know at the other end of this hallway is the double door leading into a restricted area. Yeah. But on the walls of this hallway, written in what you can only assume to be shit and blood and other bodily fluids just like almost like finger painted on all of these walls why is some people looking at me like <laughs> that's gross yeah um you that's see gross. some symbols rare weird symbols and some writing and stuff like that but there seems to be things wrote rip wrote 
written written, written <laughs> along these walls. Any words that I, rec- that I recognize? Um. No. Can I roll a French or an occult check? Yes. Um, Would archaeology work? Not for this. Uh, Can I roll Latin? Yes. Okay, so Latin, what are you rolling though? Are you rolling French or occult? Or, uh, did, did, or, did, or does it look French or does it look not French? Because you could, I could tell if it would be in French. If it's not French, we're going to go with cold and see it again. Well, I mean, you got to sort of look at it and piece it apart to see what matches which, because writing and shit isn't very legible. No. Nope. <laughs> um, cult it is. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try yeah. Latin. Actually, you can do both, but... So that's a cult. The occult was... Great. They're both not good. But ticks. Oh, yeah. You get ticks in both? Yeah, 79. Uh, yeah, 79 out of 40. It's not that big. Okay. So fails on the liquid from the doll and to fails along Latin. the corridor. Don't forget to take the Latin. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's, that's... We don't know what any of this is. <laughs> yeah, it just seems to be complete, like, gibberish or great. Like, it seems to be, like... But there's also symbols ravings and stuff on it. Yeah, ravings. That, that's what this is. Like, you know, I mean, you'd have to be as crazy as the people or person who did this in order to understand what mm-hmm. they're trying to... Um, get across to you um as i'm assuming you head down the hallway mm-hmm. okay fair enough. um so you head down the hallway and at the end of the hallway um and you do know that because of the way the building is laid out that this double door there's only like 15 feet 20 feet maybe um on the other side of this door um that is the outside wall of the hospital yeah but it's like two, and it seems to be quite um, sealed. Like, this is security doors. There's two security doors um, here. Uh, there is no markings of shit or anything on the security doors. It is devoid of any temper. That's good, because we have to touch it to open <laughs> I'm not a monster. <laughs> Are the lights, have the lights changed at all as we've gone oh, down it's this been, hallway, uh, or still still flick, still flick yeah, like off and on flickering? Yeah. Some lights don't at all, but some lights do. It's it's very erratic. Okay. It is very erratic. So you're at the door. Should we check this door for wires? Yeah, I'll take a look. <laughs> Thirty-nine. Okay, so I just. Uh, 63. Okay, so as you're searching um, around the door, you notice that these are like security doors, which are perfectly sealed security doors. Mm -hmm. Um, You do notice a fairly, uh, a keyhole. Where does a keyhole get entered? Um, It's not like it's a scan a badge or anything like this. Um, There there is a key to click that opens it. Um, Yeah. We may not be able to get into here. Um, It is locked. Um, And it looks quite Secure. Um, yeah. Um, so you're thinking, unless you have a way of getting into the double doors, um, the other option is potentially hunting around for a key. Potential. Yes. We're not getting into here without the key. Uh, what were the kind of people that would have the keys? Oh, that would that would be, That'd be security. Security, or the the doctors who worked here, or do you know whereabouts they're they're looking? Like, where would be the nearest security office, or the nearest office of mm-hmm. the doctors that would have worked in here? Yeah, there's a, there's a security office uh, down the halls away the, down the hallways. I don't know for sure that they would even have a key still here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, short of just opening every door and looking for every through every body, let's at least start. In one of the rooms that we, would have I housed the key. Have we seen bodies? No. No. I, I, yeah. Why don't we start in a room that at least the key would have been at one point, and then go from there? Like, yes, that's like a, a security plan of office. Any. Is essentially what you're, sure. you're talking this about. Way. That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I so start leading the way to a security office. I'm going to say for sure that searching for a key in the remnants of this hospital is each block of time would be around. I don't need to specifically go for you searching each room, but yeah. it would be similar to playing the call where you do a library use check, which is four hours. 
or fixing the plane is four hours. So, so four hour so block of time. So going to the security office to look for the key there will be four hours. Or looking we'll to search the office. office. I'm not going to go through no, but every I'm, room that you're searching. No, but what I mean is, are you talking about us doing this task where we're going to go specifically to this office to start looking there is four hours, or the whole hospital is four Oh, hours. no, it, it's a check to find the key in the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Right? This this is what this is what I mean. Okay. Um, okay. But we're staying together as a group. This is the other thing. You can cut down the time significantly by splitting up to go searching. <laughs> Nope. No. I've seen that movie. You that end well. <laughs> I don't. I think we would be faster. Definitely a, bet, a good idea. I know it's a an, risk. An abandoned haunted hospital. And we only have so many supplies. <coughs> you said that there, there's no limit to the amount of time we have here? There is, and we're carrying it on our backs. And knowing there are more of those tortured people out there? <sighs> yeah, so I if you saw. split into into two different groups. All right, we can take okay. And... If you want to split up, you can go, and the four of us. Yeah. No, so <laughs> she's so. not on her own. <laughs> if I just try just to get out how it's going to work, if you do split up, if you split up into groups of two, then mm -hmm. the, it would be two hours. If you split into a group of four, then it would be one hour. Right? You're cutting down the time significantly. <laughs> if you all go on your own, I'm willing to allow 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> No, if you're willing to go all on your own, I'm willing to allow, tell me what I'm going to say. 25, 35 minutes? <laughs> 25, 30 minutes. No. Um, then why don't, you can point us in the right direction, why don't you and I go one way and then these three go somewhere else? I was going to suggest well, uh, you Nick wanted... and, and Sarge in each group. Because they, yeah. Yeah. So, so, well, well, wouldn't, yeah, uh, he's the more, he said, you would be better to assist him if he exacerbates his injuries. Someone has a hole in the neck. <laughs> I don't, ha I'm not good at medicine. You're pretty proficient with medical, uh, you're, no, you're not first great. aid. You were talking up your medical prowess yesterday, so I'm putting confidence in your confidence in yourself. Apparently, surgery doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, that's not what you said yesterday. I'm going with your confidence from yesterday. So, you, me, and Mr. Mick here. Mm. Sounds like a movie. You, me, and Mr. Mick. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's going me, to myself, be Trish and, and Carolyn <laughs> off on your own. Sure. Sure. We yeah. can go to the security office. Well, there's, there's a couple of different security offices, oh, so exactly. we'll go to yeah, the yeah, one on uh, the this hall, follow, and then you guys can go to the one on the next floor. You will all follow the colored lines to your destination. Yes! <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay, fair enough, fair all enough, yeah. fair enough. Okay, so like each group, model. each group, who has the highest search? 54? I don't know. I'm with the one that has the highest search. <coughs> 20. 54. So, right. you were, yeah, the three of you were, now, don't say what you rolled. Keep your roll. Don't say what you rolled. What was, what I want to say, because we're heading upstairs. Sure. Sure. While we're heading upstairs, I want to try and split away from the group. <gasps> done. Done, done, and done. Roll me a stealth check. <laughs> 32 out of 30. Damn it. <laughs> Put a tick in stealth. Put a tick in stealth. Okay. <laughs> Um, as, because there's nothing, I'm not, not going to say that it's, you know, obviously that you're trying to do something, but as you're all searching, <laughs> look at the look I'm getting, as you're all searching around and spending time, yeah. um, you notice, um, both of you sort of notice that, um, um, Ginny is lagging a little bit behind, just lagging a bit behind you, mm. right? Should we slow down? No, I'm just trying to take it. I'm just trying to look and make sure we're not missing anything. They were evacuated. Who knows what's been dropped? Who knows what's around? That's fair. Perhaps we should slow down a little bit and help her out. Yeah, sounds fair. Cool. I didn't know if I had to roll an alertness. So I, I, I rolled, but never mind. We're good. No, no, I didn't need an alertness because, I mean, it would just look like she's backing up. The alertness roll would be if she succeeded stealth to see she was gone. Ooh. How long that would take. Right? Right? But um, the search rolls, I believe you already rolled your search, correct? What'd you get? 89. 
89. Yeah, okay, so that don't forget to put a tick in the search. Oh, yeah. What's the search for you guys? 55 out of 63. 55 out of 63. Okay. Um, yeah, so two hour window to, to take care of this. Um, as you're searching along, um, now, are you going to attempt during the search process to sneak away again? Yes, sir. Okay, now I'm just going to caveat this with if it happens again and you fail, mm -hmm. they they may realize that you're trying, not that you're actively trying to get away, but why aren't you staying that with you're us? Being I'm throwing that out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. There would be a human int role, a psychology role to see what the, what the fuck. Right. You know what I mean? A pu Does that make, is that fair to everybody? Mm -hmm. That's fair? Mm -hmm. Try yourself. Mm. 12. 12%. Three. Cool. Now we're just talking an <laughs> alertness roll. Right? Um, yeah. 15 out of 54. 15 out of 54. Okay. Um, you can roll the alertness. Well, actually, what was your alertness score? 60. Okay, yeah, but I mean, it's fine yeah. to have you check. Now, the alertness roll, all it means is you notice she's gone. You don't know how long she's been gone. You just notice she's gone. Like she managed to get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah, yeah. Because you're actively trying to search for something. It's not like you're just walking down the hallway. You're actively. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you, as you know with your search, you don't really come up with anything. You're just finding old rooms and stuff like that. Um, at this point, though, I have a feeling I know what you're doing, though, mm. because I know <laughs> what I've told you. I know. Uh, you ha I have a feeling you. I know what you're doing. Yep. Okay. <laughs> but she doesn't see the look under. <laughs> at this point, we have three distinct groups. Mm -hmm. And I need somebody to... Now, you're going to roll for yourself. Oh, perfect. To lull a luck roll for each distinct group at this time period. Oh, God. Uh -huh. You want to do it? To Rock see, because something first. happens to one of the groups. <laughs> oh, right. And you are also your own group. Yeah. So, first, we're going to start off with... <laughs> Wait, no, which, who, yeah, paper uh, beat rock. So you yeah. roll it. So I roll yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're going to start off with Jimmy. Okay. A high good or high bad? I'm going to say high good. Okay, so roll high. 48. Okay, oh. so it is below 50, but it's only a 2% up. Okay? Okay. Because this is, it's only one of you it's going to affect. So you had bad by two. Yeah. This is how my mind works. Okay. And then the roll for you guys. High good or high bad? You're the one who made it. You won. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he... I'm going to roll. <laughs> what do you want? High bad. High bad? One percent. Nice. So as good, oh, yeah. Yeah, as good as it could possibly be. Dear sweet. We're good. Oh, what do we want to do? Jesus. <laughs> high bad. High bad? Yeah. Would you roll? 46. You're good by yeah. four. So it's, no, no, it's not necessarily that you're <coughs> fucked. It just depends on how you react to this. Okay. <gasps> so now, something that's very important is player knowledge versus character knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to kick everyone else out of the room to do this one thing with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Is that fair? Yeah. Just yeah. Mm -hmm. separate character knowledge. You, you could yeah. kick us out. It'll only take two minutes. And actually, yes, everyone else, get the fuck out. <laughs> okay, so what happens is, is you're at the door. I'm assuming that's where you're going. Yes. Back to the security door. Yes. And I'm assuming you pull out because um, dear Ginny is quite proficient at picking locks. I am. Um, can I see your character sheet for a second, though, just the, so I can work both out? Both of them? Nope, just the first one. Um <laughs> I will actually, I will allow this to be a dexterity. Not dexterity. I will allow this to be an intelligence roll. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Just knowing what you have to do, because I can call for sort of ending, but I, I, I'm, I'm actually right. willing to let it be an intelligence roll. So if you could just roll that. Thing. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm going to roll. Uh, 71 out of 85. So that is a success. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you hear a click, and yeah. you're really <laughs> focused. Mm -hmm. uh, on this on this keyhole um, as you sort of sense movement 
Of course I do. Yeah. You know, because it's sort of <clears> like, because <throat> um, there is a bit of a T. You know what I mean? There's the security door, and then the hallway goes lengthways. Oh. And you guys came down that shit hallway. Yeah. Yeah. For th- better terms. Yeah. Um, but there's the security door, and then there's the it's hallway. It's a T-junction. Yeah, it's That's a T-junction, but the, at the apex of it is those double doors. But you right. do click it, mm-hmm. and you can hear almost the sound of a... As if, not that it was powered, but almost the sound as if there was some kind of magnetically locked. Okay. Um, somehow, or something along those lines. It's just more to it. It's like a really top tier type of pie end, maybe not possible for the era, but it's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> type of door to seal shut. But okay. <clears throat> you sense movement, and then you look to your right up the hallway, mm-hmm. and around 20 feet away from you, mm-hmm. sort of on all fours. But with like, you know, almost like a downward dog pose where the legs are up a lot higher. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and okay. down and sort of you can see an individual in a similar condition as you've seen out in the tent. And its head is sort of moving side to side and there's no lips. It yeah. definitely looks like a different individual, but I mean... A lot of scars. The yeah, it's got the, all the, the same flat, the, damage. The and... same damage as that, okay. and it seems to be smelling right. as it's <clears> looking <throat> at you and moving towards you. But you're just huh. catching the scent of the corner of your eye. It doesn't seem to be charging you. But the door anything. is open. The door is unlocked. unlocked. The door is not open. I want to carefully. Slowly, like no sudden movements to, I'm assume I'm going to assume it's animal, like an animal instinct. It's got to be. It could be. It could be uh, animalistic, or but it is a person. It's definitely yeah. human, just um, in a horrific state. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get through the doors and close the door. Okay. And yeah. So you need to put like there's these two bars and you need to push it in. Yeah. Both doors. Yeah. Oh, Good it's got to be both doors to open. Yeah, they both push in. Okay. So, do you want to attempt to push them in? Yes. Roll me a stealth check. Of course. Uh, 44 out of 30. Okay. Okay. At this point, um, as you stand up, as you're pushing in, you forgot to take into account the click. There's a click of it. Yeah, as you're pushing into things. Yeah. And this figure leaps at you. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to roll something mm-hmm. here. And like sort of grabs you by the shoulders. Mm-hmm. And with this strength that you wouldn't imagine in this frame, sort of lifts you up slightly. Yeah. Against the doors. So once you clicked it, you didn't get a chance to push in. It moved really quick. Right. So you're up against the doors. <laughs> And it's like smelling you, and it's got his teeth, and his teeth is like clacking yeah. as it's moving towards your face. Yeah. Um, and it gets to your neck, and you are sort of sandwiched. Oh, uh, 90 out of 68. 90 out of 68, yeah. as you feel. Roll me a D6. One. You only lose one sanity. <laughs> Which is uh, interesting. And you can put a tick into uh, under, over to the right of the sheet right here. You'll see violence. Yeah. Put a, one of the, a tick in there. Okay. A tick in there. Okay. Uh, it could have been six sanity. Yeah. At one go. Yeah. Um, at a five, of course, there is a temporary break. But yeah. That's not what, as it's holding you up, and you're just frozen solid for a second. Yeah. That you know sense. what I mean? Yeah. As it, it's head, and you can just smell this. Uh, smell coming from it, and as it's really close, and now that it's away from that tent area and stuff, you almost smell this hint of cinnamon. Okay. Okay? Coming from the figure. Mm-hmm. As, um, you also notice that this one's missing its tongue. <laughs> okay. Okay? But it's it opens its mouth wide, and it moves really quickly, and you can feel its teeth against your neck. Yeah. And then it moves back slightly, it closes its mouth, 
and smells you again. Okay. I guess that's a theme here. <laughs> and then it drops you. Yep. And then it starts slowly continuing walking down the hallway. Yep. Okay. Yep. I... I'm... Mm, I'm probably shitting myself right now, but... I'm going to say taking the opportunity because I don't know if it's going to change its mind and turn around at mm -hmm. me. I am still going to go through those doors and I'm going to close them behind me. Okay, and they relock when you close I them. I understand that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jimmy is gone. Like, you're not sure where she is. Um, you don't hear any noises or anything around. Um, God damn it. But I'm going to go in the two hour block for you two. Mm -hmm. uh, I say you two, I mean uh, Trish and Caroline, mm -hmm. Nurse Harrison, and uh, Jarhead. <laughs> um, How hard is it to be swapping these names after four years of the same names? It, every time I look, I see Marion, I see Althea, I see Amos, <laughs> and, and uh, Skull. <laughs> <laughs> You just skull with you for girl Halloween, didn't you? Oh no, we keep saying we want you to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, gonna be. We keep bullying him into it. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Um. So what happens is, is I believe you succeeded on a search check, yeah. mm -hmm. and over a two-hour period, in the third security room you ran into, there's a fairly large key hanging on a hook behind a shelf. You do find it. Finally. I was there. We're only, told you so. we're only the furthest away from the, from the restriction section that we can get on this floor. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be restricted. It's supposed to be hard to get into. I guess. Most people should be carrying their keys with them. I'm actually honestly surprised that it's here. Grab it. Mm. What I just thought, I just had a thought. What's that? Like, this place was evacuated because it was attacked and not a lot of people made it out, right? Well, not, not that, I don't know how many made it out. I saw a few vehicles leaving. I saw a few planes leaving. Our jeep was full, but and we tried to get as many patients out as we could. But I mean, people were killed here, right? Yes. Where are they? Well, it's been a few years. Animals could have gotten in. Well, could animals have gotten into the restricted section, do you think? Depending on how tightly sealed it is. With the damage that we saw outside, there could be a wall blown out somewhere. Fair. I just think it's something we should keep in mind. Anyway, it's let's go point. back and find the others. Time I, is of the essence. It has been a little unsettling how few bodies we've seen. I'm going to say that over a, um, you agreed when, I'm just going to say that you agreed when you split up to you, whoever has watches, you meet up after two hours. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it took around an hour and a half for you to find it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say you gave two hours. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Trish. Oh, no, no, I was just going to say, uh, if in this security office, or any of the security offices we were in, if there was, like, rings of keys or whatever that were left out or sitting, even, there are, like, visible. Oh, there are some keys. I'm going to take them. Yeah. Take them all. It just wasn't a big enough key for yes. this keyhole. Yeah. I'm just going to take them, put them in my vest. Just in case. Yeah. In my vest, in, in my, my vest, vest need a real good chest. I'm going to um, keep an eye out for, um... Uh, like a blunt instrument weapon, like like I'm assuming that there would be like a baton or something from a Sith. Uh, if there if there happens to be one, and if not, don't care. You find a baseball bat. Done. Okay. Done. America. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, baseball. One of the nursing stations man. has a baseball bat. We I'm, did do the stereotype of the hockey stick and the you know yeah, yeah a so. Louisville slugger. Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, you're still working in a hospital where you have patients who are experiencing trauma and mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You need to have some kind of protection, even if it's not what you want to use. And Halbrick and Mick, you're not sure where or what happened to uh, Ginny, because I guess he came with you. Yeah. Um, and after you look for her for a bit, which is why you didn't find any keys, yep. that was a failed roll. You were looking around for her, you didn't find her. You God all meet up damn it. back at the security gates. I, when we come around the corner to meet with you guys, mm -hmm. I'm looking like, fuck! Where's the dock? We, oh, we lost her. She, she fucked off somewhere. Well, that's not very surprising, is it? Not particularly. No, I didn't think so, sir. Uh, is there something we should know? 
Not sure yet. Anyway, we got bigger problems. We still need to find what we're here for. Can everyone roll me an alertness check separately? And just let me know if you roll a critical success. Only if it's a critical success? Really? Uh, well, let me know if you succeed on the check first. Uh, Trish got a 28 out of 53. Okay, so success. Uh, 79 out of 40. Okay, that's a pen. I got a 4 out of 60. Mm-hmm. That's, a success. that's almost a critical <laughs> success. Uh, 62 out of 54. Okay, so two of you succeeded on the alertness check and two mm-hmm. of you didn't. Um, as you're talking here and you're like, oh, like where's the talk, whatever, you, um, both of you, being more a hunter and then you just feel like there's something off, right? And a marine, and you sort of look down this hallway at the same time and you see down at the end of the hallway where it curls off, mm-hmm. you see just a head poking out and it's got the lips removed and stuff like that and then it sort of ducks in out of view almost as quick as you spot us oh i'm i'm Pistol swinging out. around with the gun we got a problem we, we are not here alone sir there Pistol out. <laughs> i think it would be an excellent idea to go through these here reinforced locked doors sir unlock and lock them behind Thank you for listening to The Call 1973. The next episode will premiere Tuesday, April 16th at 6 p.m. at Mountain Standard Time on YouTube, but we're going up on all of our audio services one hour later. Support us on Ko-fi. A single coffee just one time gets you into the community Discord, and if you're able to provide continued support, you get access to behind-the-scenes commentaries. Speaking of which, our next commentary will be announced over on Discord, so if you're curious when that's going to happen, we're collating and we'll get that to you there. Spacers has begun recording new episodes with the Cortex Prime system. Its air date will be announced once we have enough episodes to post. As usual, we'd love to thank all of our donators over on Kofi, especially including Sydney, Blizzard Warning, Mamsie Cowgill, Shadow Rose, James, Baba Yaga, Austin Jenkins, The Wee J, Tyler McDonald, Rosa, Josiah, TJ, Edward Lore, Autumn Beamer, Three Slugs in a Trench Coat, and Noah. Thank you all so much for your support. Your players for tonight were Elizabeth Wells, Janessa Coles, Lindsay Delansky, Scott Gillis, and Zach Barrett. Your GM or handler was Derek Snow. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.